So yeah. you moved to Atlanta, um, 2015. So what was it like? Like, was it what you expected or what? It was slow. I feel like one thing about Atlanta is Atlanta is going to show you who you are, who you don't want to be, who, you, you know, it'll give you the uh, the the pathway to get to where you think you want to be. Mm-hmm. And you get there, you realize it ain't what it is. So mm-hmm. with Atlanta, I feel like I just went through a, I went to Atlanta with like this pipe dream idea of Atlanta, you know, I'm like my favorite movie, ATL, mm-hmm. like it's going to feel like that. Mm-hmm. And it was nothing like that. I think that's the case with a lot of yeah. black people that go to Atlanta. It's like back in like the 90s and early 2000s when people would go to Hollywood yeah. to become aspiring actors or actresses. Yeah. Like, you know, within the past like 10, 15 years, you hear that story a lot as far as black people going to Atlanta mm-hmm. to find it. Because like you said, ATL, they see yeah. a lot of hip hop. Yeah. They, you listen to Rich Homie Kwan, someone could have listened to, I don't know, Thug and Future yeah. and thought the same thing. Mm-hmm. So they, And I hear stories a lot. Of that, and when they get there, it's like eh, it's not really what I expected. You yeah. have to be on your p's and q's. Like people will try to finesse you. It's love out there too, but people yeah, try to finesse so. you as well. So, I mean, me, I'm the type I I can make it happen no matter where I go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not even from Charlotte, and I came out here, and I, you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm proud of what I've done within the past two years of being out here. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Atlanta, like it seems like you just gotta you know sleep with one eye open, and I. Unless I don't have to, unless the bag is out there, I wouldn't want to go through that off rip. Honestly, it ain't no place like Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Like, when I go and I'm out and whenever I'm out of town and I Mm -hmm. come back and I touch down, I'm like, it feel good. Like, I love Atlanta. It's just, you got to really know, you got to find who you are because you will think you know who you are and then it'll take you through a whole pathway of finding yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's because... You surround it with so much. And a lot of it is the difference between Atlanta and other places. Other places, you can kind of identify who got it and who don't. Okay. Atlanta, everybody look like they got it. Everybody mm-hmm. knows somebody, whether that's a celebrity, the hottest promoter, whatever. Everybody knows somebody. So you really don't even know who's who and what's what. Yeah. You got to really distinguish that. And it's like if you searching for the highlight. Uh, of everything, you will be able to find it. You just got to ex- distinguish who is who. That's okay. what it is. And I feel like that's what people go looking for. Mm. They looking to be around the celebrities because everybody is out and about. Yeah, you know, it's that. normal. Yeah. yeah. People want to be around the celebrities. People want to be in the mix. You know, you could pull up to a birthday party of, of like Future or um, Young Thug or something like that. Easy. You just find out where the invitation is. Mm. But the reality is, is... It's just, it's not what it seems. It's yeah. not what it seems. And then you meet people and you get mm-hmm. to know who they really are. Yeah. You know, once you do get in the mix. And again, it's not what it seems. Mm. People ain't happy. People depressed. People mm. is broke. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. they lit though. Yeah. They lit though. Right. But they broke as hell. <laughs> right. It's all about being lit at the yeah. end of the day. That's all that it's matters. It's perception. It's perception. Yeah. Perception yeah. is reality. Yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> um, 